Man, I'm super excited to show you guys what I've got going on here. Finally got this little script installed, set up, ready to go, and I've created a video for you guys step by step how to get this working. And so follow along because check this out. Altitude or flight mode. All my data is now coming in. Moving my quad, you can see the display changing. I can see all of my all the messages coming in from the board. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, one of the things you're gonna to need to get this working is the FR Sky telemetry cable. And this comes from Yapu, the, uh, I don't know if it's the owner or creator of these scripts or, or exactly if it's a company or just a person who's doing this as an open source project, but they sell these little cables that you can get it's like 10 bucks on Amazon or 12 or something like that. So go ahead and pick one of these up and that's what you're gonna to need to get the telemetry from the Pixhawk into your radio. And what this comes with is just a few cables here. But this is what you're after. That little guy right there. And it has different cables to hook into different uh, different receivers. On here it says it works with the X8R, X4R, XSR, RS8R, and this works with, you know, obviously a variety of different FreeSky receivers. And also it works for, you, you use it for the Tranus as well as the Hornus and that what I'm using it for is that my jumper T16. All right, so obviously we're gonna be installing some scripts onto this, uh, onto this jumper T16, and we need to get that from the computer. So go ahead and plug your jumper into the computer with this cable here that it came with. And you have two options normally, uh, if you have an ask mode, which it comes defaulted like that, uh, joystick or storage. If you haven't checked out my video on how to make this a joystick, I'll leave a little link in the description, but I do do a video on how to make this uh, a joystick so you can do RC flight simulators. Um, but in this case, we wanna make it a USB storage mode. And when you do that, it's gonna show up on the computer as a storage device, so USB storage. And so as you download these scripts and uh, move them over, you're gonna be moving them over to what it showed up as on your computer, which is USB storage. Uh, I think sometimes it shows up as two, like there's a uh, T16 and then there's a USB storage. Um, look for the USB storage one and I'll show you that here. All right, the first thing you're gonna to need to do to get this started is go to GitHub and download the scripts. So I'll leave a link in the description to this GitHub, GitHub project and you'll be able to find all you need there. Head on over to releases and I'm really excited for some of these future releases but they're still in beta so I'm gonna wait. But the, there's an official release uh, or the latest release of 1.8.0 and that's the one that we're gonna be using in this tutorial. It's gonna give you all your telemetry data and everything you need from the Pixhawk. In the future, you're gonna be able to use maps and that's gonna be really, really awesome. So I'll be doing a new video on that once I get that rolling. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe for those future videos. Go ahead and download the source code, the zip file. Okay, once you get that downloaded, go ahead and extract it or unzip it. And inside there, you're gonna be able to find all the files you're looking for. All right, now that those scripts are extracted and you have them, go ahead and pull open on the left side of your computer a finder window that has the USB drive on it and go ahead and navigate into it. And on the right side, you're gonna have all those scripts. And go ahead and navigate in there and go to the Horus directory. That's the, the one we're gonna be using. Then from there, you're gonna to wanna to go to SD and here is where you're gonna start transferring scripts over. So you're gonna go into the scripts directory 
on both of your finder windows. And you're going to copy over the contents, the Yahoo directory, from your right side, which is what you just downloaded, to your T16 on the left side. And you're going to do that process for every file inside um, the directory that you just downloaded. So now you go to sounds, you're going to cap copy over the Yapu directory into the sounds directory of your T16. And I ran into this error. I just skipped it. So maybe I'm missing a sound. I don't know. I wasn't too concerned about it though, but and everything seemed to work. And the very last one is going to be the widgets. Go ahead and copy the Apple directory from your widgets downloaded folders on over to your T16. And that is all it takes for you to get what you need onto the device. And from here, you can go ahead and unplug it and we're ready for the next step. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to wanna to take your telemetry cable and plug in this to the telem two on your PixHawk. My telem, my telem one is set up with my OSD. Go. And then you're going to want to plug this in into your smart port, or they have a bunch of different cables depending on which receiver you're using. So it could go to a, something besides the X8R, obviously. But for me, I'm using the X8R. There we go. And just like that, you are connected and you're ready to start receiving your telemetry. All right. One important thing that you need to do is set up your PixHawk so it is outputting its telemetry data to this new uh, little module that goes into the smart port of the X8R or for whatever receiver you're using that can um, send telemetry, you still need to set this up inside of Mission Planner. So go ahead and connect your PixHawk. And once it's connected to the computer, now you can hear it going off there. Once it's connected to the computer, go ahead and connect it via Mission Planner. And now that that is connected, you need to go into configuration, full parameter list. Okay, and you need to scroll down to the S. So here you have the serial, whoa, serial bond. So the baud rate used in the Telem 1 port. So this is a serial 1, that's going to be a Telem 1 port. And, um, then you have two, which is the serial, the telemetry two port, which is serial two, which you want that to be 57, 57. But the kicker here is for telemetry two port, you want to set this value to 10, which I've already done here, which is free sky. So you have a bunch of different options, but what I found worked for me was setting this to 10 and doing so got me all the telemetry data that I needed. And once you set that, just go ahead and you can edit it like this. 10, you know, I think mine was defaulted to one. And then you just go ahead and write the parameters. And it's saved like that. So let's see if it worked. All right, we've got the scripts downloaded onto the T16. And from here, what we're gonna wanna do 
is make sure you are in the model you want to be in that you're going to be setting this up all the telemetry up with. In my case, it's my Terra 650. So if we hold down model select, you notice I have a, a simulator model and then my Terrat Sport. I really need to get a new picture for that. <laughs> oh, I'm already checked on it, so we're good. Okay, here we are. And just as a note, anything you do as far as the telemetry and the different widgets will stay on this model. It won't transfer over to the other models, which is really nice. So we're gonna hold down the telemetry button and we're gonna create a new page. So if you scroll, if you page over, add new main view, and we're gonna to wanna to make it an empty view. So you'll select that. And then you go down and you're gonna to wanna to uncheck both the top bar and sliders and trims. So what that does is if we page over now, essentially you have a empty screen. So let's go back into the telemetry. Let's page over to this number two. And then we're gonna set up widget. And from here, you can decide what widget you want displayed on this screen. So we're gonna scroll over. Oh, well you first gotta click. Then you're gonna scroll over. So we don't want that, we don't want that. We don't want timer. We don't want a counter. We want this, the Yapo telemetry. So you can click. And then return, return, return. So now it's there. So if we page over, you notice you have two different widgets set up. And you can just page between two of the two of them, right? So now let's go ahead and set up one more. Page over. We're gonna add a third one. We're gonna do the same thing as before. Get rid of top bar. Get rid of that. And and then we're gonna set up another widget. So again, clear blank screen. And we're gonna go over to the telemetry again. So we're gonna set up two that are essentially identical to start here. So you're gonna long press widget settings. So you're in your widget settings and you wanna be on page two for this one. You can click. Switch to page two, enter, return, 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 return. So now this is gonna be displaying all the messages that come out of Mission Planner or your Mavlink, I guess is what it'd be coming from. So all your Mavlink messages. So now you can page between the three different pages. There's your messages, there you go. So this is it for the setup of your radio. There is one last thing I want to show you before we proceed to the demonstrations, and that's just how to navigate around the script a little bit better. You're going to want to go into your system settings, your radio setup. So we hold down system. We're going to page over, and you're going to scroll down into scripts. Now this is how you can get into your Apple script um, right there. And in here you have a menu.lua. If you execute that, you can choose your language, you can choose a bunch of different settings. And so I'm gonna leave this all default for now. But eventually I wanna get in here and do some changes. This is something that you guys can obviously play around with. If I find anything good, I'll make sure to make a new video once everything's set up and working correctly. Um, and I find something that I like, I'll make sure to update the video. And as you can see here, I'm running the 1.8.0. So return out of that. And that gets saved automatically, by the way, if you do change something. 
All right, let's go ahead and see if we got this set up correctly. First thing we need to do, obviously, is power it on. Telemetry is already set up and ready to go. We can page over. Obviously, I mean, because the telemetry is there, we're on the right model. Let's page back over. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to connect the quadcopter. I have that sitting on the bench on the other side to give it a little distance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over there, plug the battery in, but let's stay focused on what happens to our radio. Battery's plugged in. You can see all the messages coming through, scrolling through the bottom, which is really awesome. Um, I still need to get the battery voltage. So I'm still missing a couple things I need to set up, but you can see all the messages coming through. I really love being able to have all this on here because a lot of times I'll plug my um, battery in and I'll step away from my quad, I'll put the top on it, but I can't like see the flashing green lights and all that stuff. And so it's really nice to be able to have all this data right here and it's gonna talk to me. It's just gonna tell me what's going on. And with that happening, I can know when low voltage comes, which is what I'm gonna set up next um, in probably a different video, but uh, it's going to be awesome to also just like hear if my telemetry, I'm losing telemetry and if just different things are happening to my quadcopter in, in flight. And I love having this, uh, this messaging page too. I'm going to be doing a lot more with this. So if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button. If this helps you out in any way, hit that like button and, uh, you know, help other people out as well. So they know this is a video that they might want to watch to get their telemetry set up with their new Jumper T16. If they just bought one, this is the T16 Pro. I'll leave links in the description to everything I used, such as the little module you need to buy to get that telemetry output into your free sky. And until next time, good luck.